And you know what's funny about that is like we often will sit and blame the other person for that when it was us that made that decision. You coming? and they, each person has to do opera. <laughs> but the hit, you're laughing. You already <laughs> lost the game. <laughs> I can't even describe the game without losing. It's okay, we're not, we're not playing yet. And they have to not laugh. So the first person sits there and everybody has a straight face and they go, Apparently we're really good at this game. Yes, but my straight face isn't so good. What cookbook is it? The Joy of Cooking. It has recipes for things such as how to skin a squirrel. Uh -huh. Like, like there's so many random animals in here. Potted goose. Snipe, <laughs> snipe, or I thought snipe was a joke. Uh, what kind of recipes? <laughs> I know, right? Look, look, there's a pig it's on a It's not plate. in the meat section. <laughs> Stuck in my... That's how you know that that's a good page. So my son was in Boy Scouts and I tried making puffy cookie and everyone thought they were macaroons. I got like first place for like the cooking award. Maybe you should make the macaroons and see I, what they're supposed to are be. Are you like. talking about the colored ones? The colored mm -hmm. ones with yeah. like the cream filling in the middle? Yeah, those are macaroons. No, those are macarons. Because everyone calls them that and I even found a package that said yeah. macaroons on it at the grocery store with macarons in it. I mean, people don't know that there's a difference. Macarons is a coconut, a can macaroon. Can we the difference? Can we see what the difference is? Let's yes, macarons are made with coconut and macarons are almond flour. You it's accidentally like, made a really good cookie and it won an award, so why didn't you bring that recipe and do it wrong again, however you did it. It's this one, sugar drop wafers. All purpose flour. Got it. Baking powder, cinnamon, and freshly grated nutmeg. I have a nutmeg. That's a nutmeg. And I'm like a random old lady or something because I have it in a <laughs> old prescription bottle. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I should have had this on the floor. Okay. Okay. Always cover things in the microwave. Got raspberries, blueberries, little mini cucumbers. Can you? Oh, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> And cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Yeah. Do you like it? A lot of people can't handle the texture. Oh, but I like it. I, I like, like it. it. My my son was like, "Ew, why'd you get cottage cheese?" I was like, son, it's not about you. I had to tell Jack that when he was a little kid because they think the world's about them. Like, how dare you buy food that I don't like? I tell my husband. It's like, too. don't worry. There's more food. There's lot. There's a lot of things in here. You yeah. don't have to eat what I'm eating. They have every opportunity in the world, maybe not children, but grown men have every opportunity to drive themselves to the store and get whatever they want too. Right. I know. He, my kid works at the grocery store, so he doesn't, but he doesn't do that anymore. But I had to explain to him like what, how are you so entitled that you don't understand that other people have different needs than you do and that everything is not for you and I'm going to get things that I want. You just tell me what you want. I'll put it on the list and bring it home. I think it was like when I first got married, I tried to be so considerate of everything that I was cooking in the kitchen to make sure that, you know, my husband liked it. See, and, and you know what's funny about that is like we often will sit and blame the other person for that when it was us that made that decision. After a while, I wasn't cooking anything that I liked and I didn't like cooking anymore and it became a chore. I just made another decision that I was going to cook for myself and what I like. Good for you. I got up in the morning, had some cottage cheese and some cucumbers and some berries. That's basically what the nutritionist was having me eat. 
So my husband gets up and he's like, you want pancakes for breakfast? I'm like, no, that's okay. My son is like all excited because you know, he gets to put syrup all over it. I was sitting there eating my healthy breakfast without pancakes and without syrup. And my son said, I don't want pancakes. I want the fruits and vegetables and cottage juice that mom has. And he didn't eat pancakes with all the syrup. This reminds me of a thing I told you about how I was making myself these beautiful meals and my husband then wanted them. Yeah. He even now makes them himself and he takes them to work and all these people at work started doing what he's doing. I think it's just like one good decision can start rolling into more good decisions and we feel better about ourselves just bit by bit. I didn't make those. I got those for 25 cents back when I worked for Pier 1 headquarters. But look how cute that is. I wish I made that. Just for... Right. Ugh. Nobody wants to see that. You put your But you don't in put it in something like that. When I was a kid, we always had to do compost in our my parents' garden. And we had a, a coffee canister that, that sat uh -huh. on the counter. Yeah. And it would only get emptied about once a week by yours truly. And that thing was nasty. But yours I, is so much cuter. I, Look, I made this one too. Look how cute. So I use this for like holding, cute. holding my tea bag. But for me, I think there's plenty of trash out there in the world. That's like, very true. I'm not gonna, I don't need to contribute to it. So then what do you do when you got this, you got your sugar and your eggs and your vanilla combined. And beat well. Beat it. Beat Just it. Beat it. Huh. All at once. So you add all the flour mixture into the moist. How many people hate the word moist? It's ridiculous. But I tell you, they all love a moist cake. Like, why do they make these? It should it should have a plunger that comes through it and just like shoves everything out the other end. I think I just invented something. Dude, if you actually get a patent on that, would you cut me in? Like, I just Wait, got- do it again. I just got a cookie. Do it again. Yeah. Body by cookies. Oh, yeah. She said, Julie, you're so disciplined. And I said, you only have to be disciplined like 80% of the time. I can eat cookies because most of my meals, I eat like cottage cheese and vegetables or like plain meat that's not fried. And Sugar. my discipline is when I go to a restaurant with French fries, I eat two or three. I never order French fries. I always just steal them off other people's plates because if you steal them, there's no calories in them. But what do the other patrons say when you do that, especially at another table? You know, it's funny how people are really nice about that. Like, you'd be surprised. It's like, I have saved you calories, so, you know. Can, can I just have a few bites of that, ma'am? And here in Texas, there's a lot of longhorns. And me being originally from Wisconsin, I think they're like one of the coolest, most majestic animals. So when my son and I are driving in the car, we're always commenting on the longhorns. So as we're driving to school, we see these two longhorns and they're horning each other. They're like, their horns are like wrestling each other. They're like, horns, I guess if you get stuck. I'm not from Texas, so I don't know a whole lot about this kind of stuff, but. Girl, I didn't see a cow till I was three. What? I'm from Long Island. Different was, varieties of people. Uh, I never saw those. How white or Native American, that was pretty much it. Girl. <laughs> So Criss Cross was the one that wore his uh, jeans backwards, like that's zipped up the wrist. That's so weird. And he had a shaved eyebrow. So when I was a kid to this place called Apostle Islands, on, and it's like, so where I'm from in Wisconsin is like the very northern part of Wisconsin, and then there's Lake Superior, and then Canada. So when you were talking about like a boat ferrying you across. Yeah. In Madeline Island. Did you just say across with a T at the end? Did I? Is that Wisconsin? It might be. Now <laughs> we're talking about education system. We're talking about. <laughs> I'd like to have a word with your principal. Oh, well. <laughs> he at the bar. <laughs> he at the bar. <laughs> yeah, they gotta go to happy hour. Happy hour after work. Get it's some cheese thing. curds and a beer. So let's get these in. I do not recommend roller skating in the kitchen. All sorts of things could go wrong. They're very brittle. They're delicate little babies. Those are absolute garbage. What, really? They're disgusting. Do we forget an ingredient? Were we supposed to add more sugar to it? Or enough to like make it into something else or something? Oh, I taste a lack of sugar. Just like a freaking dog biscuit. You guys use the whole bag of flour? <laughs> sugar the surface of it. Oh yeah, that'll be so good. 
That looks so fancy, like glitter. The crumbs wet with like water. Do we have to make that sweeter too to make the pie crust? I thought it tasted exactly like pie crust. I think we have to add butter to it. Ah! Camping, our camping ones. Who's so, that? That's cloves and they are like ancient. Oh. I've had this bottle since probably 1912. <laughs> For your grocery needs. <laughs> We can slop a little in each one and make it like a mini. Like the worst video ever. You made the worst thing ever. I'm fired already. <laughs> Nobody was making sure I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. <laughs> Whose job was that? That was probably my job. Stick in the other two. Those are funsies. Why not? It's like a happy accident, like Bob Ross taught us. The chef's on TV. Everything's perfect. <laughs> they never forget an ingredient and go, this is disgusting. Come on. Oh, why do you look so scared? Oh, you want a cookie? You want a cookie? I don't know if you're going to like it. Because you just I think like... this pie is going to turn out. Questionable pie. Well, you know. I already put like eight bucks of ingredients in. Why not? What's another 10? <laughs> Let's try it. I was just hoping you don't have a lawsuit for someone that you said doesn't like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? It's not a recipe. It's not a real recipe. Gosh, do not watch this for... It's not from the joy of cooking. Hmm. <laughs> that was really good. Really? Or mm. is it we solved it? We mm -hmm. we rescued it? There's the actual pie over here. Yeah, it's like it's like an actual pumpkin pie. But like tiny. Yeah. It's really good. Like seriously. I'm not like faking this for the video or anything. <laughs> we solved it! Yay! The terrible cookies became a pumpkin pie. I burned the tablecloth. <laughs> I'm proud to say I have recovered from my horrible failure. I think I taught Amber how to make lemons out of lemonade today, but then turning it back into... Wait, what? I had that moment of frustration where I realized that the the cookies were terrible and they taste like dog biscuits or something. I don't know. I never ate a dog biscuit, but I'm pretty sure I've licked one once. But to recover from that mess up and create something this tasty, I feel like a winner. I mean, coming from behind and winning. It was a good day. Mm.